Welcome to Wallace Wade Stadium on the campus of Duke University and customarily a trip here involves a journey to Kayville. Instead, you will be engulfed by the Wade Wackos, the Duke fans ready for their Blue Devils to go to work. Today, a clash between a couple of ACC rivals in a game that could have big time implications for the rest of the season. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the Florida State Seminoles. Taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Duke Blue Devils. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. So the Florida State Seminoles offense takes the field for the first time today. And this wide receiver, he's the linchpin to the offense. They want to make sure they find a multitude of ways to get him to football. And it's a risk-reward scenario on defense when you're trying to cover this guy, Reese, because you play man coverage, you risk him running by you and catching deep balls, you play too much zone, and then he can hurt you after the catch. A lot of different ways that this guy is very dangerous. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Dropping back into Uyangalale. And they got him for the sack. And a great job by the defense. Dropping in zone coverage. All eyes on the quarterback. Taking away the options. And then the, finally the pass rush gets home. Gets him on the ground. Not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, he'll need to push it downfield. And he feels the heat coming and it burns him up. Another sack. Third and long situation, we're bringing an extra DB on the field. And we're telling our front guys to pin your ears back and go get the QB. And they get the job done. The Knowles will try to pin them back with the punt. The coverage team was down there to corral it. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. So the Duke Blue Devils offense has its first opportunity of the day. One way to mitigate the explosive capabilities he has on the outside is be physical with him, and this dude will do that. He will do that, and you don't see a lot of offenses take the top off this D because of this guy roaming around in the middle of the field. He is a true center fielder, so this receiver's going to have to make plays. I just does such a great job of getting guys on the ground. A lot of people are in position, but he makes plays, so him versus a dynamic wide receiver on the outside would be a great matchup. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Might as well give it to him again. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. They'll give it to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Now facing a third and long. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Just what they hoped for on third down as they've got a first at the 32. The Blue Devils are moving quickly down the field. Looking for a gap. It's Bates. Defense there to stop him after a gain of three, but he is inside the 30 to the 29. They'll run play action. Can't make the catch, and it'll be third down. He had that thing and just lost his concentration. Now they'll run the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Here comes the field goal unit. He'll need to strike this one cleanly from 48 yards out. 
knocked it right through, showing that big range from 48 yards out. Well, this team knew coming into tonight's game, they had to get momentum early, playing at home. They want to get the crowd into it. So you get a beautiful drive here to start this thing. You would have liked to cap it off with a touchdown, but listen, you set yourself up for a field goal. You knock it through the uprights. You've got the lead. Everything right now looking good. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. Bringing it back. And he's able to pick his way through the traffic nicely for a good return on that one before he's brought down. Out of the gun, the running back has it. They knock him down after he picks up five out to the 34. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. To the ground with the back. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Here on third down for this offense. Trying to pick it up on the ground. The Seminoles get enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. On the move. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. Trying to get to him. And the quarterback made himself at home in the pocket until the defense finally raided his house. Down he goes. What a great job by this defense, setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. They can feel uncomfortable. They can feel that pressure. Keep getting them on the ground. That's why they've built a lead. And the Knowles will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Bringing it back, it's more. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. And the Duke offense heads back out onto the field. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake, but maintain your aggressive play caller. Yeah, no doubt. I think it's the play caller right now, just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field, just to execute a little bit better in the red zone. There's no need to panic. We're moving the football, and we got the lead. Looking to throw, it's Murphy. They're trying to get to him. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Nice coverage on the back end. Great job. Nothing open right away. The QB holds the ball in the pocket, and the pass rush finally gets home. Sometimes it's the DBs doing great work. Sometimes it's the defensive lineman winning up front. And the Blue Devils send out the punt unit. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He's got great speed. Touchdown, Seminoles! The special teams with a special moment. The return man takes it to the end zone himself, and now he'll give his team the lead. And your defense made a big stop. You think you're getting the offense, the football back, but how about special teams coming through in a big way to take the lead for you? Get some excitement, get some juice back on your side. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today. Kennesaw State went on the road and silenced one of the most vocal crowds in football. And it's clear this Owls team has adopted the mantra, let your play do the talking.
60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome, and certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standings, fellas. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. The RPO, it's complete. Still running at the 40. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. The Blue Devils will hustle to the line. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. Holds it in. Just carving up this defense and getting it down to the 24. And he had to go a long way to reel that ball in. He started off way on the right, crossed the entire defense, made the catch on the other side of the field. There's an example of how this offense can really attack every corner of the football field. Part in the backfield, it's Moore. And after the tackle, that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. That's the end of the quarter, and Florida State has the lead. We've played one before we move on. Let's have a look at the stats. They are lined up and ready to go and get things started here in the second. On the run, it's Moore. Hey, that's a live ball. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Oh, and it's a hit like that that will absolutely light up the sideline, light up the stage, the moment, and help you win a football game because that hit is what caused that fumble. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. Fast motion from the offense. To the air. It's Uyunga Lale. Finds his big tight end. Now they'll really try to get this drive going. Good execution on third down as they have it first and 10 at the 31. Here's a quick throw out to the left. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. After trying the running game on first down, they come to the line on second down. The give to the back. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And the Seminoles will call on their punt team. He'll bring it back. It's Moore. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. And Duke has the ball back, ready to go on the attack. Off the play fake on first down. Tip ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. That incompletion leads to second down and 10. They get him stopped at the 32. That's a gain of four. Here on third down. They'll try to pop the draw. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And the Blue Devils line up to punt it away. The last time they punted it went back for six. And the returner will be brought down. So, guys, we'll see this offense again. It's a reverse. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. 
give to the running back. Tripped up at the 25 after picking up four. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long. Ball's at the 25. Looking for a man. It's Uyangalale. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. Yeah, the defensive line, you know, third and long situations. I'm rushing the quarterback. You bring in the nickel, a little bit more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack on third down. The Seminoles will punt it away on fourth down. It doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He only needs a sliver of daylight. He was working his way on the return toward midfield. They'll stop him at the 46. And the Duke offense heads back out onto the field. They go to the ground. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. They'll go to the ground. Spins away from the defense. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Movement here from the tight end. Hand off from the gun. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. They'll leave it with him. Across the 25, he's got room. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. What a run. Great speed, great vision, elusiveness, and David, he's tackled down close to the goal line. Yeah, and this offense, when you can run the football like this, man, you will have success, especially in the red zone, trying to get touchdowns. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Second and goal coming up. The back goes in motion. Back to throw, it's Murphy. Got his man on the outside. He's down at the one, and they almost had the touchdown pass on that one. You can't afford to squander these opportunities once you get into the red zone. Twice they've been denied. Here's third and goal. They're bringing heat. Now he's going to break the pocket. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Well, that didn't necessarily go as planned, but it was most effective in the end. I love it, Reese. Down in the red zone, this quarterback didn't have anybody open, didn't panic. He just decided, man, I'm going to go do this myself. I'm going to use my wheels and put up six on the board. He did just that. Lining up to add another. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. That drive covered 55 yards for the score. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. Got it across the 20 and out to the 23. A pickup of four. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Oh, it's a reverse. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll go to the sideline and try to make adjustments. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. Coming after him. Trying to make magic on the scramble. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. And now this offense will take the field again. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the wideout. Through his hands and incomplete. He normally makes that catch every time. It's second down. Back to pass. It's Murphy. Throws to the wideout. It's complete. Brought down at the 47-yard line after the 15-yard pickup. They'll throw it on first down. 
spins away from the defender. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. They want to just keep throwing it. Unloads to the wideout. Complete downfield. Just making a play, getting it to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down. He wants to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Moore. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. The Blue Devils come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He's got it on the move. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. He's got it on the run. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. They'll immediately call timeout. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Getting some heat. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And that is exactly how you draw it up. You get to the quarterback, but you get the football out. You hit him, you try to rake it out. Great job by the defense. Getting the sack, getting the fumble. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Looking to go up top on first down. Pocket starts to collapse. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. To throw, it's Uyangalale. He's going to throw deep right side. Incomplete. He took a shot on the final play of the quarter and couldn't quite find his man. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Gentlemen, you've had yourselves a superb broadcast so far today in Durham. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Brooks Field inside Wallace Wade Stadium. The Seminoles will kick it away to crank up the second half. Fielded in the end zone, it's Robertson. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And Duke has the ball back, ready to go on the attack. As they get ready to start this third quarter, think how big the lead might be if they'd taken care of the ball. Well, the game might be over, Reese, but if you're on defense right now, you've gotten a couple turnovers early, and you're saying, okay, we're going to need to keep this up. we got to stay aggressive for us to have a chance to win this game, but we believe we can do it. Yeah, you, you've already done it, so of course you're going to believe it. Keep playing fast, keep playing physical, and then tell your offense, hey, we need a little help over here. <laughs> can you help us out and put some points on the board? After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Leaves it with the back. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. And after that last run, we'll see if they keep it on the ground on third. Wide out in motion. Dropping back, it's Murphy. Fires to the wide out. A strike downfield. 
and they are finding some space in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. Tight end finds a soft spot. I like the idea by the quarterback there. You're trying to get this first down, so you find the tight end, see if you can make a guy miss or shake a tackle. Not able to get it done. He's back to throw on second down. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. A manageable distance on third down as they try to convert from the 20. Going for it all. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Duke. Big-time players make big plays in big games. It seems like each and every week when this guy has an opportunity in the end zone, he's coming up with a big one. That time, great job focusing and concentration. Defense not able to cover him. That's his now 10th receiving touchdown on the year. On to attempt to try. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. Georgia State looked like a program ready to take the next step after a big road win today. This was a complete team effort from the Panthers. Offense, defense, and special teams doing its part. Impressive, to say the least. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams. But, boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The give on the inside. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. They'll leave it with the lone back. Ran right through the defender, and now he's still running. Really nice, patient job to find some running room by this junior. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Really good surge for this offense. They move the chains, and he's got it at the 34. And the Seminoles will snap it on first and 10. Wide receiver coming across in motion. From the gun, the ground game. Not much room to run. Let's give him one to the 33. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Scanning the field. It's Uyanga Lele. Throws to the wideout. Got his man downfield. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. The Knolls are in the red zone. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Now from inside the red zone. Makes the grab. It's Douglas. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. The Seminoles are threatening on first and goal. Power ahead. Takes it to the house. Touchdown, no. That touchdown was a clinic in keeping your offense on the field and wearing the other defense out. Sometimes your best defense is your own offense, being able to stay on the field. You're absolutely right, Reese. That was a clinic. Running the ball, playing at great rhythm and pace, QB making good, smart decisions, and not shooting yourselves in the foot. No penalties, no turnovers. It doesn't get any better than that last drop. And with the extra point, they close it to a 17-14 game. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. 
Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And the Duke offense heads back out onto the field. Using his legs, it's Moore. He's stuffed after picking up one to the 23. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Just a short pass to the tight end. And they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup. They come to the line, facing third and long from the 25. Pressure coming. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. And they didn't have to blitz. They brought in the dime package, more speed on the field so we can cover in the back end and then let the D-line do what great D-line do. And the Blue Devils will line up to punt it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to take the lead in this football game. So they got to be feeling good. If they did their part, score, your defense does your part, Jesse. This offense, keep that momentum. I would say stay aggressive here. And just keep doing what you were doing on that last drive, right? Well, whatever was working for you, just go back. Keep using those same playmakers to allow you to go down here and score a touchdown. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. Crosses the 30, he's got away. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. And how about this offense deciding to run the football, be physical, find a hole, get downhill, Palmer, and get the first down? Yeah, and it helps, too, when you've got a running back like this guy. He just knows how to fall forward and get those hidden yards. Big weapon in this offense. The explosive play set the table. Now they got to serve the feast. Trying to slam in. Touchdown, Florida State! They take the lead with the six. Follow the blockers. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and, you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they take a 21-17 lead. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And Duke has the ball back, ready to go on the attack. Power football with the run. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Looking to pass, it's Murphy. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. There to make the stop, and we've played three in this one. That's the end of the quarter, and Florida State has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. One quarter to go, and might we have the makings of a classic fourth quarter finish. It's a draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The Blue Devils decide to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. Slips through the line. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. He'll do it himself. Got enough for the first down. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. He leaves it with the back. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. 
After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Off the play fake. Unloads to the wideout. Got him downfield. Touchdown, Seminoles. And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. They extend this lead, and it looks as if they are going to make it two wins in a row. Really nice job working the route and getting himself open. He was able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. They'll try to attack one more on their score. And the extra point is up and good, and they have an 11-point fourth quarter lead. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Works ahead for a couple, they'll stop him at the 27. Picked up two yards on that last when they need eight on second down. Back to throw, it's Murphy. Fires to the wideout. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Third down conversions, always a huge stat. And they've got a third and long from the 27. Got it set up on the outside. At the 40, there he goes. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. They absolutely had to have that third down to keep any glimmer of hope alive. And defensively, that's exactly what I want. Make you get the third down. The clock is your enemy. Multiple. That quarterback was doing his best. Houdini escaping in the backfield, but the defense finally gets to him. After the big first down sack, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Got a man. It's Robertson. Tackled there by the defense. They're facing a third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Quick pass and catch good enough for the first down. Didn't need a lot, but they got enough. And the Blue Devils have their offense in high gear. On the move, it's Moore. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And they've converted their first two third down opportunities, but a third and long is a different animal. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. This has been a rough night for this offensive line. Man, they have not protected their quarterback. Everything starts with the big guys up front. That's their fifth sack given up of the game. The Blue Devils will bring the punt team onto the field. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. They make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. Looking for a man. It's Uyangalale. Throws to the wideout. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. He had the perfect play to open the drive, and now they'll snap it again from the 38. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Ready to fire from the pistol. They'll run it. Maybe a three-yard pickup there, third and long, coming up. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he drops to throw. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. Man, I think this quarterback needs to take his offensive line out for dinners more often because they're not protecting him. And it's, sometimes it doesn't even look like they're trying. 
That now the sixth sack of the game for this defense. And the Knolls will punt this one away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. And the Duke offense heads back out onto the field. He'll start this drive firing. Grabbed in the middle, it's Harvey. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. Quick strike complete. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Feeling some heat. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Down by multiple possessions, they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. He's got him, and they convert. And the Blue Devils have it with a first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Oh, he's ready to take a shot. He's got it at the 30. Hit the afterburners, kid. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Blue Devils! Man, QBs love their big tight ends, especially guys that can do such great things after the catch. He catches it. Dang, probably looks like a receiver after he catches the football. What a matchup nightmare, too, man. I mean, he's just too big for DBs to cover, and he's too fast for linebackers to cover. If I'm this QB, I'm looking that guy's way a lot more often than this one. They'll go for two here and try to climb within a field goal late. Looking to throw, it's Murphy. Trying to get to it. And the defense gets to him and snuffs out the two, and they will draw no closer here. That keeps the score. Florida State, 28 to 23. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They think they can create space here with the run to the right. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Backing up and backing up on the first two plays, now to try to throw it in drive on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. They're trying to get to it. Oh, he's going backwards in trouble, and down he goes. A tremendous loss. Goodness gracious, this is a master class, a clinic on how to get to the quarterback. The seventh sack of the game, are you kidding me? That's a season for some teams. They've lived in the backfield. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. Sometimes avoiding disaster is the best thing. The punter just gets it out of there. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. And Duke has the ball back, ready to go on the attack. Going up top on first down. Makes his connection. And he'll get behind those pads and deliver the blow and get it down to the 44. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Finds his man. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Calling a timeout here, you have to avoid making a mistake in this situation. They're bringing heat. And he can't get it off. Taken down. What a huge play this late in the game. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. 
Pulls it in. It's more. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. IndyCar tempo as they head to the line for this third down play. Clock running. He's looking downfield to throw. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. Desperate to convert, and he'll throw it. Shoots it to the left. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. Don't want to risk anything here. The quarterback takes a knee. Guys, I'm going to tell you, I just never saw this team falling into a three-game losing streak. They are wounded, reeling, and they've had their confidence shaken. It's been ugly. There's no other way to spin it. This is very ungood, not good. Um, Got to find some way to get this turned around. Got to make more plays. Um, you know, this is something that's frustrating, but let's not let it define your dynasty, right? Fix it, get it back together, try to pull some wins, try to figure this thing out. It's frustrating too, David, because this is a team that has a lot of talent. I think part of the problem these last couple of games now has been lack of effort. So if you're on the coaching staff, maybe you're ready to start giving new guys an opportunity to see the field and just see what they can do. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.